Hey there, and welcome back to this week's episode of the Big Ski Family. We are going urban. We're going big city living this week. We uh, loaded up our garage, packed everything um, in neat little boxes, and got everything squared away as a family. What are we doing today? Cleaning the barn. We are working, barn. working hard. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, honey. Okay. Wow. This place has gotten completely out of control. So, this is our before. Hey there, this is Chad uh, coming to you from beautiful Bend, Oregon. And as you can see behind me, we have got our home up for sale. And uh, after much consideration and prayer and looking at all the priorities that we have in life, I realized that, you know what, as much as this has been a dream place for the last three years, there's some things that I want more in my future. And so we're just, uh, we put it on the market trust in the Lord to, uh, to sell and set us free to do some of the things that he's put on our heart to do. Carol and I headed down a couple days early because we wanted to go down through Napa and Central Coast, look exploring some different business opportunities for wine bottle screen printing and enjoyed my time with her so much. Caroline's such a dear. And then when we got to the, the office there, uh, we began some cleanup projects and uh, she was such a gift to me. And Janice and the kiddos jumped in the van a couple days later, made their way on down to Southern Cal as well. Always an adventure traveling in the van. You got a good 800 mile drive, good family bonding time. On the way down from Bend, Oregon, down to Southern Cal, uh, Janice dropped by with the kiddos to visit one of her brothers. Janice is one of 12 children, by the way. One of 12, number nine of 12. And she dropped by and saw her brother, Tim, who's number 11 of the 12 children. And he lives in uh, Sacramento area with his wife, Brenda, and their wonderful three children. And so, four children now. Anyways, spent some time there, really, really good times. In LA, Jenny sees the place that we had uh, I had prepared for her, and uh, far different from our home. And she says she gets on the phone and calls her brother Craig Johnston. And Craig has different antique 
uh, stores and consignment shops over all over Southern California, one of them being in Riverside, right next to the Mission Galleria. And so we took the family, loaded up the trailer, went down there, and Craig had said, hey, anything on the third floor, go in there, have at it. And it's a, it's a really fun space, you know, anybody into antique shops and like estate sales and things like that, there's furniture everywhere, couches and tables and chairs and end tables and lamps and art and rugs and all this. And so Janice is like, oh, I want that rug here and I want that there. And the kids are like, oh, this would look good by my bed. And anyways, we had a ball. We ended up loading up the trailer with a bunch of stuff, take, took it back and made our house a home there in here in Los Angeles. So again, very temporary, uh, generous of Craig. We're grateful to him for allowing us to do that. We basically took some space I have down in Southern California and it wasn't really designed for living space, but we have retrofitted, revamped, worked hard to move all these bottles and boxes and tables and chairs and offices and cleaned it up and we've dialed it in. I love my troop. They're just so hardworking, so creative, so flexible and making places that uh, don't look so great into places that look far greater and make it very livable and fun. Here we have the three little girls room. Kimberly had some fun with the door art. So Chloe, Kinsey, and Cordelia stay in here. Look at this. Over there they have a nice big mirror. Um, there's some of Chloe's art over there. They put in this fun chiffon with little white lights behind it. Cordy sleeps right there. Cordy's toys that she wanted to bring with her. So she brought all her little animals that she keeps over here. And then that's Kinsey's bed. Carpet came from Uncle Craig's place. Over here we have Kimberly and Caroline. We live in here. And in here, we had some fun with the decor as well. There is a little lamp, Kimmy's old typewriter. There's our mirror. Here's a caricature of us that got drawn at the beach. This is my dream board that needed to come with me so I could remember what my goals are this year. We put two camp mats together with a queen sheet and so we can sleep in our bed. This is another rug that came from Uncle Craig's place. And that is our desk where we do school and work, etc. Okay, coming out of the two girls' rooms, we have the boys' room. In here is Barrington's backpack and his fishing hat. There's Barrington's bed. Here's where they keep all of their clothes on this table. Here's where Bentley sleeps. And this is where the boys do their schoolwork. This picture Bentley brought down here of his cousin, you know, to just make it a little more homey. And also loves his Glenn Blake poster. Yeah. <laughs> That's Barrington and Bentley's room. In here is the girls' bathroom, so we all share this bathroom. Here's our main living space. We have fun old pictures, some car hearts on the walls. We always gotta have some music. Here's a table that was already here, and this is the furniture we got from our Uncle Craig's place. So this is where our little living room is. Over here against the little girl's wall, we have our music set up, so we do all of our singing and piano playing here. Along this wall, we have some books, some candlesticks, and some more old pictures over there. Here's another desk room where the kids can do their schooling. My desk. Again, Kimmy, thanks for the door art. Here we have the older girl's closet. And in here we have my clothes and Kimberly's clothes. And some extra art supplies over there. Over here we have the younger girls' closet. 
And in here we have Chloe and Kinsey and Cordy stuff. Here's our hallway where we keep all the towels. And here is the boys' bathroom. We have upstairs. And in here are our main living spaces. So we have a little seating area up here, a whiteboard that the kids have had fun drawing on. In here is our kitchen table. Seats us all nicely. Over here is our pantry, or the lack thereof. We have a beautiful view of the freeway and construction. This is our what we've been cooking on. It's a little countertop stove and lots and lots of spices. Don't be deceived, that beast does not work. There's our knife block. Here's where all the kids do the dishes. And here's our fridge. Thanks again for joining us. Be sure, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you know of a family who wants encouragement in their faith, in their marriage, in their parenting, in doing life together in a holistic way, that has entrepreneurial dreams, that cares about their health, that uh, is curious about developing their own God-given gifts and unique abilities and expressing them in the marketplace and in ministry, please have them join the Big Ski family because we continue to want to share our stories and, and impact others as we go along the way. And I just want to say thank you so much for your comments and your encouragement. We just got the kindest card yesterday. Just most thoughtful thing ever. And I want to thank you, Eric. That meant so much to our family. But the comments that you guys leave, you know, on Instagram, on Facebook, um, on YouTube, the ones, the letters, calls, it just means so much to us. So thanks so much. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.